Hi, it's not too early for crafting for Christmas. Most crafters start before Halloween. Okay, so today I'm going to show you to make how to make a mini tree, and I have two to make, so it's going to be in two parts an intro and a finale. So watch along. You don't need to see me the whole time, so we're going to look at just the tree. Okay, so I bought all my supplies at the dollar store, or most of them, I'd say 80%. The first one is a white tree. And so you may ask, why a white tree? Part of the, um, the, the biggest part of these is actually undoing the tree. So I went ahead and did one. That's why I always do two or three of the same craft. When you're filming, that's what you have to do. So it's a lot like doing a regular tree, okay, if you do an artificial tree. Um, I found years ago that it was easier to do that for me. But just taking apart the tree sometimes, it takes as much time as going out and buying or chopping down your own tree. So it's all boxed up and you have to pull out in each individual branch and make sure that the branches aren't too close together. It would be nice if you could put it away in the exact same fashion that you build it in. And uh, that's just not possible unless you have a giant attic or garage that you could store it in and then just put a bag over it. But it's, it's actually fun. After this part is over, um, I'm just getting all the branches away from one another. So I did the next hard part. And what I would say with a white tree is to use um, white lights. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, I, I did get the, so they have wires on them, okay, and they're little mini lights. Um, that's going to get wrapped around the tree first, okay, and some other decorations I have. So, berry garland, dare I say, those things that fall from the sky, yes, and bows. This package came with red and green bows. For this tree, for the white tree, I'm going to use the green bows, and for the green tree, I'm going to use the red bows. All right. You can do any variation. These are just ideas. And then I pulled them all out and um, have them individually ready to go on your tree. So there was my white tree. I'm building it. And this snap-on part, super easy. And here is my green tree ready to go sort of ready to go and the lights are already on it i just need batteries for those lights okay and i think it's two two double a batteries okay um so wrapping that all throughout the tree inside of the tree right, i probably should show you that inside of the green tree the white tree well, either way. Okay, um, so the lights are already on this one. And the next step would to be to put, I have the Burry Garland. So we'll wrap that much in the same way that I did the lights, which I'm gonna start at the top. And everything is wired, it's really nice that you can just take it and kind of wrap it around and secure it with the wire. So you don't need any extra hooks or anything like that. I'm just taking it over the tree and under the branches around each individual branch. Not each one, but every other one kind of works. As soon as you add color, the red 
So this that makes everything pop. So that is one of the reasons I'm using red on the green tree. Um, I like white lights. A lot of people like still go with the colored lights, which is fine. Um, you almost could do, there's so much of this red wire garland, berry garland. I think it's so pretty. You could go, kind of go deep in with it inside and then come wrap it around on the um, outside of the next branch because there's enough to go around. And then you're going to want the outside branches to hold uh, the other ornaments, the bows, and I didn't use any balls on this, but there are beautiful different colors and kinds um, of ornaments for this. So, you know, now the Dollar Tree, I went back and a lot of them were sold out within a week. So people are catching on to doing this. I don't know whether um, everyone's doing a simpler Christmas this year or they're doing them as gifts. Um, I started years ago, I did Victorian trees and gave them to um, shut-ins. You know, I had an aunt who didn't decorate anymore and um, couldn't really get up on a ladder or get out. And I made one for her. Um, and then this year, well, I'm making one for someone close to me's grave. Um, you can actually put them there for a short time before they take them off. So, okay, I'm done with the berries. It made it all the way around to the bottom of the tree and then some. So I can wrap that back up through there. Okay, and then start on the next, whatever it might be, the red bows. You can take one of these and put them on the ends. I like to put them on the very end of the um, branch. Okay. And, then, and they have, they come with the wire right on them. Okay, so there's no hooks to attach. Although I did buy hooks for those um, white things that I'm going to place on next. So, you know, I'm rushing through this to show you, but you really could take your time. And, um, you know, I did take my time with the finale. And I, I don't even want to say how much time between the shopping and <laughs> preparing. Eek! was a lot. But it's a very special treat for me. And I think you can have a really good time with it. Here's some more red bows. So you just can spin the tree around and add the decorations as you go. Okay, you might want to add some Christmas music. Alexa, play Christmas music. Here's a station you might like. Holiday favorites on Amazon Music. That kind of gets you in the mood. Okay, so there's some red bows. I'm gonna take, I thought these were nice. Little string of bells. What did I? Okay. The Christmas Tree Tangle. It's a good children's book. Three to the kids. But this is you know, I do these crafts for um, adults, but for teens and tweens as well. This is a great little craft project to keep, um, you know, your 10-year-old busy or if you're having um, the girls over to work on together in limited amounts. So there's a little bell attached to there. I could tie that one on. This is the stationary one. This is the anchor. Okay, and then just go lay them on the branches here. 
or in festive. And luckily on this little base, I can just spin in my tree and have it go around. And this needs at least another set of bells, maybe two more. This was just that's just the very beginning of hanging the bells on it. Okay. Then we're gonna go with these white things. I'm afraid to say it. I don't say the word until it's time. As soon as I say it, it happens. those on. Um, I'm going to keep going with, like I said, around and around, adding the ornament here and there at the opposite side of a bow. Okay, because it's all about the presentation, right? So you don't want to rush through it like I'm doing. Now every tree, oh okay, and then they sell these for the bottom, a tree skirt. And you have to finish the bottom of this because you're gonna hide the light package that's right here. The little, um, with the batteries in it. So I got this cute skirt. You only need to buy one skirt. Okay, so what you can do is after that buy fabric and use this as your pattern to see exactly how the width and um, I mean if you want there weren't a lot like I said then I, I actually I tried Walmart and of course you can go to um, some of the more expensive the Michaels and Joanne fabrics had a lot of good stuff too um, now, we don't have our AC more anymore. I really miss that place. So this just goes around the bottom. That's sort of like the last thing, but I just want to show you that, how it goes. And it attaches with the Velcro, which, yeah, if you, if you didn't buy it and you made it yourself, good luck with it. Well, you can actually buy Velcro that you can do yourself. Every tree should have an angel on it somewhere. Every tree should have a star. This one comes in a little package dollar store. I was lucky to find this one. Um, a silver one. I have gold too. And that would be part one of, you may need your glue sticks for um, some additional parts to the different project. For the white tree, I use the glue gun a lot more. Um, for this one, not so much. So we'll come back and show you the finale of how both trees, or at least one tree, came out perfectly awesome.